I hate to sound hyperbolic, but let me take you to the Duke vs. SMU game and see if you notice something because I think we are reaching the end days for the field goal. It's the waning second of the game. SMU's quarterback brutally draws out, scrambles, tries to find a lane, can't do it, fumbles the ball away, and all Duke has to do once they get the ball down to the 10 yard line is kneel it out. So they can attempt a game winning field goal. They kneel it, they move it over to the dead center of the field, and 30 yards away, there's almost no chance they don't win this game. SMU tries to ice the kicker, but we all know that that hardly ever works, so there's really only one thing left to do, and it's try the new 500 IQ way of blocking a field goal where you hold down the tackle and long snapper. Four weeks ago, I talked about it. Recently, I discussed how it might have to get banned for being so strong, and now we're officially seeing it move into college games as an SMU defender jumps over the line while the tackle's being held down to do so, and blocks the field goal, then they take Duke to overtime, where SMU would win it. But I mean, there's just no good way to adjust to this play. The only time it hasn't worked is when the defending team has messed it up, not when the opposing team has found a way to stop it. So assuming this doesn't get banned, I don't see a good way for people to defend against it. And we might be in the end days for the field goal as the jumping the line meta takes off. So I'll be watching how this all breaks down. But right now, it's really not looking good for the longevity of field goal kicking. Just blocked. And SMU falls on it and we're going to overtime.